Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly forecast for July 1st through the 7th. This is going to be a general reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. Happy birthday. I know we're in Cancer season. So happy birthday, those of you who are celebrating your birthdays. Uh, we're continuing with our mermaid ocean theme, as you can see in the setup. And I have another ocean, a new deck here for you. Guys, the reason why we're using this deck, this is a deep deck. Like, this is deep stuff. This is, like, deep messages. And I wanted to use it because in the private readings, those of you who've been coming to me for private readings, uh, the last couple of weeks, people have had some deep questions. Like, you know, soul-searching, life purpose uh, career change kind of stuff going on so I and don't get me wrong I'm not complaining I love that stuff but I just figured you know what people are hungry for some some deep meaning here so why not use a deep deck we're gonna see what is coming up here is your Monday Tuesday your Wednesday, Thursday, and your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, my darlings. And then after we look at the, these cards, as always, I'm going to pull a nice little angel message for you at the end. Okay, darlings? Your Monday, Tuesday for Cancer, I'm going to read it, then I'm going to put it up so you can see the picture, is to Queen Amphitrite. Faith is an optimist that shows which way to flow. You know what? It's really cool, and probably the creator of this deck did this on purpose. But two is actually a number having to do with faith and keeping the faith. And here we are. We have a card about faith where the theme is faith. Um, this is to believe and to move forward. Okay. Some of you were really inspired in that Sagittarius uh, moon we had recently where you were really kind of your activate your imagination was being activated and maybe you were beginning to dream. And some of you maybe have begun to lose some of that steam lately and you may be in that energy where you're just kind of like oh like I want to do this but I'm not sure if it's gonna work out or I'm not sure if it's for me like I get the same energy off this card as I would the full card in traditional tarot which is about taking the sleep of faith and moving forward sometimes what the message is is that we just need to start one foot in front of the other we need to get going what is one small step that doesn't freak you out too bad. What is one small step that you can take towards what you're wanting to manifest or what you're dreaming about at this time? Okay. Um, if you're dreaming about, uh, you know, uh, making new friends, you know, maybe making new friends. Think about it. What kind of friends would you like? What kind of people are they? What kinds of things might they be doing? Well, maybe you can take a step into joining a meetup group. Maybe you can take a step into going to a workshop or taking a class at your local community college. Um, maybe you can uh, uh, check out organizations or volunteering opportunities or, or, or churches or wherever you think your kind of people might be at. Maybe you can take a step towards being there. You know, a small one. You don't have to, like, you know, go and talk to everybody. You can just kind of show up and, and sit there and just that that could be your small step. If you have a uh, dream about saving money, but you don't have a whole lot of money right now, maybe you can take a dollar, two dollars, set it aside somewhere. You know, uh, whatever small step that you can take, even if you think, oh, my goodness, that's such a tiny little drop in a massive ocean or that's such a tiny little drop in a massive cup how am I ever going to fill that cup each little drop will fill up that cup little by little it's more so about gaining the momentum see how she's on like this little chariot here once she starts going the momentum will pick up it'll get faster and faster and faster and faster you just got to start moving in the direction and things will accelerate it's the same thing when you get in a car and you sit down to drive a car and you put your foot on the on the gas, right? Your car doesn't go from zero to 60 in a second. It builds. All you need to do is begin to apply the energy. The same way your foot begins to apply the energy on your accelerator, right? You, you begin. You don't go slamming it down, you know, trying to make the car go faster. It's the same thing. You just need to get into the faith and the belief in taking the step to prove your faith. And then from there, things will 
will build over time. I'm not one for encouraging people to make high risk gambles. You know, like I'm not saying that uh, you should go and you should risk it all and just have faith that things are going to come together. I came across people on my path who were of that belief. I'm not of that belief. I don't believe you should do anything that's going to uh, put you in fear or put you in a really big inconvenience. But what can you do? What do you have power over? What step can you take, no matter how small, to get the energy flowing, to get the energy unstuck? Monday, Tuesday for you is about getting unstuck, getting moving in a direction where you're no longer in procrastinating energy, where you're moving towards making something happen, something big happen. Your next card is... 16, the Nereid. Holding on to the ideal while endeavoring to attain it will help to realize it. This is a card about manifestation, okay? And this is a card about you being able to see yourself where you want to be. I kind of like this picture. It makes me giggle. Like, it makes me laugh. And I don't really think the creator of this deck had this in mind. And uh, I would not say this, like, to them or to the artist because I don't know if it would be offensive to them. And I'm not trying to uh, offend anybody by any means. But what I do kind of feel is... Oh, gosh. these This phone's constantly going crazy here. Let's put it on silent. Um, so, and I, I guess maybe some way that message coming in, that ding, ding, is uh, Spirit's way. I just put it on the side, still making noise. Uh, is Spirit's way of basically, you know, bringing us into, um, like, acknowledgement that this could be a message that might be good for you guys, too, the way that I'm seeing this card. So you see this guy, right? Not a bad-looking guy. Not a bad look. Oh, my goodness. I guess I have to turn this phone off. I keep putting it on silent. And it is still making noise and annoying the crap out of me. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have this, this guy on this card. And he basically, he's not a bad looking guy. But he kind of makes me think of like, I don't know if you guys ever watched. There was this old TV show uh, called Three's Company. And there was this neighbor, Larry, right? And Larry was like, you know, the cool ladies, man. Like he got all the ladies and he was very 70s, the, the hairy chest and the, you know, like just really slick, really confident, right? And like if any of us who date men came across Larry today in a bar, just like as that character, like not as like a from a TV show, like just that personality of a person, we probably maybe wouldn't be too interested but guys like Larry they do all right they don't do so bad Th they have one thing on their mind and they manage to get it they manifest it right it's not because they're the best looking guys it's not because they're uh, the smartest or the slickest or the funniest they're just very confident and they're very patient in some way like they put this goal in their mind and they're like they're just in the faith that it's gonna happen right and so you know they for lack of a better term score so I, it just made me think of that so I feel like the message here from spirit is for you to know you don't have to be um, anything different from what you are you don't have to be if like for example some of you maybe feel like oh the reason why I'm not married is because of my age or the reason why I'm not married is because people are superficial and they're going after like people who look like models and until I gain 10 pounds or lose 10 pounds or or change this or change that or you know have this changed about me then it's not going to happen nobody's going to want me or oh I'm you know having a hard time financially I'm never going to find another job because the economy still isn't that great and there's a lot of competition and if there's a really good job out there it's already going to be taken people aren't going to leave the good jobs even if a good job opens up there's too much competition they're not going to pick me because I didn't go to this college they're not going to pick me because I'm this because I'm that and spirit wants you to know that it's okay for you to believe in yourself just remember how Monday Tuesday was just start taking the steps towards it just start taking the steps towards it. And then Wednesday, Thursday is keep believing, keep seeing yourself where you want to be. You know, like Larry. Larry was not anybody I would date. 
I don't think Larry is anybody you would date, but you know, he did all right for himself and he was happy, right? That's what he was into. That's what he was trying to manifest it. He sure got a whole lot of it. And so can you, whatever your it may be. So I hope you understand what I mean by that message. I hope maybe it might resonate with some of you, you know, just be in the belief, be in the belief, holding the ideal. Oh, oh gosh, I want to read it again. It's such tiny writing. Holding the ideal while endeavoring to attain it will help to realize it. Keep your eyes on the prize and keep moving. That's all it's saying. That's all it's saying. And you win some and you lose some. You know, if, if a lady turned Larry down, he didn't get all hurt. He didn't go, get all offended. He was like, well, plenty of other fish out there. I'm going to keep going, right? So just keep going. Keep going. Keep believing. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is... Ningyo. Okay. Oh, wait. Before we go into this one, one more thing about our friend Larry here, our Larry Mermaid, um, is that 16, the number 16. Okay. One is a new beginning, and six um, can sometimes, if there's a number next to one, one is saying pay attention to that number. And six is a number about balancing m materialism with your personal relationships so you might be feeling like you're not getting opportunities in life or friendships or relationships because of money issues and so this is another thing i want you to get out of your head it's not a, it's not about that right there are very very poor people who have amazing relationships there are very very wealthy people who have uh terrible relationships there are very very poor people who feel very satisfied and very fulfilled in their life. There are very wealthy people who are constantly feeling like they can't keep up or it's not enough or they need more. So it's a state of mind, okay? It's a state of mind that will attract what we want and the steps that we're taking for it. So I just want to put that out there. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is 52. Ningyo, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly astral light and an image of the world and oneness integrates the two them and you i'm actually really excited cancer that you got this card because this is a very important message this is like very very crucial for us to remember so as you're going on this path of manifesting and as you're going on this path throughout the week where you're trying to bring about these changes in your life, trying to figure out your purpose, trying to figure out, you know, what the right job is for you, where your soulmate is, are you on the right path? Uh, you may see people along the way that really aggravate you, that make you very angry. Okay, this is a card about changes, keep, you know, believing, having faith in the changes because of the numbers 52, five is changes, two is keep the faith. If we were to add them together, five plus two equals seven, listen to your intuition, you are being divinely guided at this time. But this is a card about the mirror effect, the mirror effect. What is that? What the heck is the mirror effect? I will tell you, my darlings. The mirror effect is that everything that we see in our world around us is a reflection of something that lies within us, okay? So you might come across somebody that really is a jerk and really makes you feel bad about yourself or makes you feel very angry. And it's going to mean a couple of things. For some of us, sometimes the universe is showing us a mirror and reminding us that there's somebody that we've been mean to. But not always. Sometimes there's very nice people that encounter a lot of jerks. And it means that this jerk person is coming up as a repeating cycle in your life because a spirit is trying to show you that there's still some wounds here that haven't been healed and probably that person is really getting under your skin because they're saying something where like you were triggered or they're behaving in a way that's triggering you that's really upsetting you right um like if a stranger walked up to you and said uh you your shoes are stupid you know, unless you have something with shoes, unless you associate shoes with status, unless you went through a time when shoes were really a big deal for you and like you couldn't afford nice shoes, you probably would be like, okay, whatever, like you would walk by, like it wouldn't be a big deal for you. But if say you had something in your childhood where shoes were really important and you never had shoes and you had to go to school barefoot 
or you had to or you, you would get shoes and the kids would make fun of you and say that you didn't have the cool shoes that you had like the knockoff shoes when I was younger they would say pay less shoes like it was an insult I loved pay less and they're like closing down now but you know like it would be an insult like oh look at you you're coming to school and pay less shoes you know like you don't have the new uh Nikes or you don't have this or you don't have that and so if you had situations like that and you weren't healed from them and then you end up having somebody come up and say something to you you might feel very hurt you might be very offended you might be like what in the heck are you saying about my shoes you don't even know they're this brand and I paid this much for them and they're really cute and blah 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 and they're really in fashion right now like you might get worked up well that person held up a mirror to you to show you something that you hadn't healed from yet that you were holding on to. So if you have people that are bringing up like really intense emotions in you that's discouraging you from your manifestation, sit down and think about it. You know, write about it, journal about it if you want. Why is this upsetting me so much? How does it make me feel? When is there a time in my life before this where I felt a similar way? What happened to make me feel that way? This is how we get into the deep, 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 buried, forgotten about things that are blocking us. And then we can release it. Another way, sometimes we come across really amazing people, right? And we're like, oh my goodness, this person is so successful. They're so talented. They're so smart. They're so funny they're so charismatic they're so eloquent they're so this or that or whatever and we begin to think oh I could never be successful because I'm not like this person I'm not as good with my words like they are I'm not as uh, smart as they are I'm not as you know attractive or as fun as they are again my darlings the universe is showing a mirror to you all of these amazing things that you see about this person are within you and it's up to you to bring those qualities out. So there's no need to be jealous. There's no need to be envious. There's no need to be insecure or to doubt yourself or to feel discouraged or to compare yourself in a way where you're feeling like you're left out in the cold. You're only simply seeing it because it is within you. You have the same thing. And it's time to begin accessing that and giving yourself the courage to show it. You were just told somewhere along the way that you weren't smart or you weren't good with your words or you weren't attractive or you weren't this or you weren't that. And you began to believe it and you began to live your life in that way. And the universe is trying to say, hey, you see this person over here? Like you could be them. Like, but your own version, obviously, you don't want to like be, you don't want to have to assume somebody else's identity, but you can be where they are, you know, you could do it in your own way, in your own talents, right? You know, it's to find the things about you that are beautiful, to find the things about you that are talented, to find the things about you that are interesting and charismatic because they're there. It doesn't have to be the same exact way, right? you know, but you have beauty in, in the things that you have. Even some of the, the things that you think are flaws can actually be very charming and very endearing and very likable and very beautiful even, okay? So that is something for you to keep in mind. Uh, we're going to check out your angel message for the week. And uh, I always like to say at this point, guys, a reminder while I'm shuffling the angel message don't forget to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos because some weeks they may resonate with you more uh, or they might just add a few little extra tidbits of information that you can put together and the reading feels a little bit more personal and a little less uh, general. Or you may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do. And if that's the case, you can click on the Calendly link in the description of the video. Oh, no. That, okay. I, th I saw something and I thought it stopped recording. Um... You can click on the calendar link in the description of the video and you will be able to go ahead and, and schedule a reading. So you have Angel of the Universe. You are being encouraged to expand your thinking. This is a beautiful card, my darling, right? And this is really confirming what was coming in about that mirror effect. You're being asked to see yourself in a different way. You're being asked to think of abundance in a different way. You're being asked to, to see your spirituality in a different way. So a good affirmation would be, you know, or a prayer could be, you know, dear guardian angels and guides, thank you for helping me expand my thinking to help me think limitlessly, to help me manifest abundantly, 
uh, without limitation. You know, that could be a really good thing for you to have. But understand and know that you're kind of encountering a lot of experiences, a lot of different personalities at this time because the universe is trying to open your eyes to the possibilities. Everything that's coming in is, is a message or a, a tool for you to be able to use along your path. All right, my darlings, those of you who are hoping for more of a love reading or are curious about love life, I do those separately. So if you click on the love readings in the description, you can watch the love videos um, too as well after this. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for being here. Those of you supporting me on social media, you know, with the daily uh, messages that I pull and those of you playing the pick a card game with me there online. I appreciate you. I thank you. I have fun seeing your comments. Um, so if you haven't already checked that out, that's really fun in between the videos. Amethyst Angelite, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, it's fun. You know, little cards of the day, little pick a card. It's It's been fun. So uh, I hope to see you there in between the videos. And I hope you have a fabulous week. Take care, my dears.